mow it like a pro and today I'm doing a line mount review on my Steel FS94R commercial graded string trimmer. Alright, so, so far, yes guys, I finally decided to take off the guard again. I went back to it. Uh, I've gotten a pretty good use out of this. Uh, the air filter and the spark plug and the fuel filter hasn't been changed yet because it hasn't been about a year yet. Oh, like, if you're wondering where, like, to, like, where the spark plug is, like, you need to unscrew this thing, and then that's the spark plug, and the air filter is right there. Just unscrew that little thing. The choke. Alright. The choke is right here. You push that in. You push that in. And then to the easiest way, like you can't you can't get it out. You can't get it out by just like pulling pulling it back out. You have to like press the trigger to release it. All right, let me show you guys an example. So push that in. Focus. Focus on the choke. Do not look. At the throttle, focus on the choke. See, just have to press. You just have to press the throttle in order just to release the choke. And I know they used to have like a primer up here, but then they moved here. You gotta press that like ten times. Uh, stop button is right here, and. This is the throttle. You can't just do that. You would have to press the top as well. Also, this is a little. Shut the f up. Oh, sorry, guys. I get a little annoyed because of my like ADHD. Uh, so, so the thr so the th the, tr the cruise control throttle thing is like. So it's right now. It's all the way up. I can press it all the way, but then. Let's put it down a little bit. I can only press like a little bit. Then if we bring it all the way down. Maybe a little bit. And then put it back up. Yeah. The only thing I don't really like about steel is this thing. Why they have to add this thing? Like there's there's no like there's no use of just putting this on here. It's Useless, pretty useless. Uh, this is your handle right here. And yeah. Uh, I used to have an Echo SRM225, but then I got bored of it. I sold it, and I bought this. Alright. So this is your gas tank right here. Oh, it's kind of hard to unscrew right now. Oh, there we go. It's kind of hard to like point because I have like my tripod on. Hold on. There we go. So, yeah, this is your fuel. Uh, this is your pull start right here. And I gotta screw this back on. I might use it next time. When I go over to my grandparents' house, like Thursday or Friday, I might have to, I have to cut the grass again. You know what? Let's do a little test. Right here, right here. This tripod is so wobbly. Uh, right here. Oh my god. Right here. Alright, it's already fueled up. You have to push this in. Push this in. Prime it 10 times. And then pull it a little bit. Don't pull it all the way because you could break the engine. And then it was rattling like that. Press the throttle. And let it warm up for a minute.
actually the most powerful trimmer I've ever owned, like seriously. The first commercial trimmer I've ever owned. We're just gonna let that warm up for a little bit. Because uh, don't let that warm up. It's gonna act like this. So we're gonna give it some time. See what it's done so far. I did a trail. All right, so this is the uncut grass, and this is the cut grass done by the weed eater. Oh. All right, guys, that was the video of the nine-month review and test. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video or short. Uh, peace out.